Okay, let's talk about one-minute polling. So in Librium MS, we have two polling interval options to choose from, five minutes and one minute. Now, five minutes is the default. So if you haven't done anything, uh, that's what you're going to be set up for now. Uh, and really, the issue with five-minute polling is that anything can happen between those five-minute polls. Uh, let's say I pull a device and it's up, but then 10 seconds later it goes down and stays down for three minutes and then comes back up before the next time I pull. Well, now I just pulled it again and it's up, so I really don't know it went down. Uh, to me, it was up the entire time. Um, now, there is a feature called uh, Fast Ping you can enable, and uh, that basically uh, will just ping a device every minute or at an interval of your choosing. Uh, and if the device stops responding to pings, you can be alerted. Um, and and so now you can be alerted in between those five minute intervals. But um, fast ping doesn't require much uh, processing power, so there's really no reason you shouldn't enable this um, if you want to keep five minute polling. Um, but fast ping is only for up down alerts. It's only going to ping a device and see if it's up or down. Um, all the other stuff you can alert on and view in Liberty MS is still tied to the five minute polling interval. So I'm still in a situation where maybe a port, uh, I can pull it and it's up, uh, then goes down and then back up by the next time I I pull it and I would never even know. Um, so one minute polling is the solution to that. Okay, now before we get started, uh, I should mention probably the number one rule in managing your Librium MS installation is to make sure you pull all your devices within the polling interval. Um, so if you set yourself up for one minute polling, you need to make sure that you pull every single device you have in Librium MS in one minute. So really this comes down to a computing resource issue and the number of devices you have. Um, there's just too many variables involved to give you like a set number uh, with this hardware uh, that you can uh, do one minute polling on. Um, so uh, for a home user with just a handful of devices, uh, you could probably enable one minute polling on just about any uh, hardware and it would be fine. But if you're getting into the hundreds and especially thousands of devices, yeah, you're going to need a nice beefy server and those things are going to be cooking too. So you need to keep an eye out for your CPU and disk IO resources as you add more devices. Um, that being said, I only have one device, uh, so this should be no uh, issue adding uh, one minute polling or getting it working. So, we just need to adjust a couple values in our web GUI here. Um, I'm going to be assuming you're using the dispatcher service. Uh, there is entries in here about cron, um, and that was kind of the old way of doing the polling. Um, and I always recommend using the dispatcher service now because I've used it for the last couple years and it's never given me an issue, so I don't know why you wouldn't use it. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing here. And actually, there is no documentation in here about if you're using the dispatcher service, how you would do this. So if you go into uh, your web GUI here and go to global settings, and polar and you want to go to distributed polar so even if you just have one installation uh, and you're running the dispatcher service the polar settings are still under distributed polling and it's right here polar frequency uh, this is the default for five minutes which is 300 seconds so we're going to change it to 60 and then we're also going to change the services frequency to 60. Now this is running the Nagio scripts uh, and I'm changing it to 60 because this little uh, question mark over here says it should match what the polar frequency is so that's why I'm changing that to 60. So uh, those two are set and what you need to do is you need to restart the uh, Liberian MS dispatcher service uh, to uh, get it to take effect so we'll just do that real quick and if if you're ever restarting the dispatcher service and it hangs don't worry about it it's just finishing up all its polls uh, from the last cycle and uh, restarting so uh, that's restarted fine. And there's one other thing we need to change in here under RRD tool. So when if you're ever doing this, uh, like if you're setting up a brand new installation for the first time and you want to do one minute polling, just go ahead and set this before you add any devices. Because as soon as you start adding a device, uh, it starts writing the RRD files, which is all the graphing data. And those RRD files are set up for five minute uh, steps. And basically, it's just telling the RRD file that it should expect a new value every five minutes. Now, uh, if you change this to 60 right now, all the steps are still set to five minutes in those RRD files. So you need to go over here and run a script uh, to convert all those RRD files to one minute or 60 second steps uh, or one minute steps. So if you're starting out fresh with a brand new installation, you can just skip this step if you just uh, set this setting first. So we're going to set this to 60. 
And we're also going to change the heartbeat value to 120, double whatever the step value is. Because um, that's basically just saying if you if you don't receive a value within the step, you know, at every minute, if you don't receive a value, you're going to wait another minute before you just say, okay, I give up. Uh, that I'm never getting that value again. I'm just going to write unknown in that field uh, for whatever I was pulling. So um, that should be all we have to do now. And uh, we can look at this here. Actually, let's do this. We're going to go CD logs. This, you know, let me see. This might, might not be the best way to do it. Let's just do the log here. Okay, so you see this pulled. Uh, you can just watch your devices here and just make sure that they're pulling. So 927 uh, was the last time it uh, pulled. And if we just refresh it here, what's the time? 928 should be any second now. There we go. So now we're at 928. So you can just watch this and make sure that you're actually pulling every minute. Um, and so we're good to go. I said all. Did it run it? Oh, dash. Okay, dash H all. Okay. There you go. So that's going to basically run that RRD step script on all the devices. Or you could just run it on a single one. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but... There we go, and you can see it's uh, converting all my files. Now, I did uh, go from 5 minute to 1 minute and back to 5 minute, and I never ran this script, and the graphs seemed to look okay. So, um, I would run the script anyway for doing it. Uh, first, I would heed the warning and back up your files uh, before you do any of this. Uh, uh, but, yeah, it seemed to work okay. Okay, well, that just about does it for this video. So thank you again for watching. I should have some more videos uh, coming up. I've just been extremely busy lately. So, uh, uh, yeah, stay tuned, and thank you for subscribing.